big collage journal. I haven't done anything in this one for a while and I've had these lyrics to a song rolling around in my head for the past few days and I think I'm going to um, go ahead and get those out on a journal page. So um, what I've done so far is I went through my drawer of magazine images and I pulled out this um, image that I think I'm going to use and obviously I'm going to have to cover this up so I think what I'm going to do is go through my rose book that I got here and I got this at Amazon used for three dollars I think three or four dollars um, it's DK ultimate rose and this is where I get all of my roses um, that I use on my pages almost all the roses that I use come from this book. So I'm going to go through it and uh, I think I've decided to use some to use all white um, or off white. I'm not sure. Um, but I use every part of these roses that come out of this book. I don't throw anything away. Um, just to try, try to give you an example. Even if there's something where there's even a bit of a flower left I still keep that because I could use just this part of a petal I could use that to tuck in behind something and you know to maybe cover up um, something on a magazine image like I'm doing here or just to kind of build up um, some layers of flowers like this one is a partial flower and you know I can you can do something like that so I save all of my bits and pieces. Here's an example of a bit, you know, if you cut this out and if you need to cover something up, you can still kind of tuck that in there and gives a little pop of color. And I just, I love the images out of this book so much that I hate to, to waste them. So I save all of these little pieces. Um, but I think I'm gonna go through and get mostly white or, you know, off-white ivory flowers and use those to <coughs> excuse me to um, cover this part of the image up and I think I want to give her some wings too so <coughs> um, I just grabbed a couple of these out of my drawer I don't know if they're going to be big enough I might change it for some that are bigger and these come from these posters that you can buy. I am able to find mine in town. I have a local art store in town that has these and then there's um, um, this really neat quirky gift shop downtown that also has these and they're kind of usually in with like the specialty papers or little specialty wrapping papers, decorative tissue papers that you kind of see on those um, kind of like this the ladder hangers is how I've always seen them displayed so that they're just draped over. But this, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. You can find these online. <coughs> oh, my goodness. And I'll put the link below. Sorry, I'm trying to get to where the name of this is. This is from the Cavallini Papers and Company Incorporated. Um, but I'll post the link, <coughs> excuse me, to where you can find these. But I might use a bigger pair of wings because I think these might be a little small. But I'll cut these out and just kind of tuck them in and see how it goes. Um, the, the other thing that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do is the the lyrics that I want to use are actually it's kind of long so after I put these elements on I'm going to have to decide how I want to do the words and I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. At first I really wanted to write write it in so if I did I might try to write it around her body. Um, but I, I, I don't know. That's the part that I'm totally not sure of. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to... <coughs> ah, 
sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm worse today than I was. Um, the I'm in Nebraska, and there are, um, I guess, grass fires <coughs> down in Kansas, and the wind is blowing all the smoke up from Kansas up into uh, Nebraska, and yesterday it was so bad at my children's school, they didn't let the children go outside for recess. They kept everybody inside because the air quality has been so poor. So it's really wreaking havoc with my cough and my asthma and everything else. Um, but, so I'm coughing worse and I apologize. I've been, I've been coughing in your guys' ears for four weeks now. But with her, on, as far as how I kind of decide what page to put these on, um, I like to have my image turned in, looking in, into the journal. Um, so, if, you know, if they're face, facing a particular direction, I have her going, I want that going in, because it just, it seems the, it just helps your eye move better into the page. Um, so, oh my goodness, I might have to just totally redo this. I am so sorry, you guys. Um, I think I'm going to put her... I don't want to do that because I'll probably put one of my big huge um, magazine pages from W there so I'm going to have to flip through here and I guess I'll put her right here and this way she'll be looking into into the journal as opposed to looking out to me, for me it just it flows better my eye travels better through the two pages together or even just I just Light. I'd rather her looking into the page than off the page, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I will stop coughing in your ears now. Thank you, everybody, oh my gosh, for all of your comments um, after my last video. Those who replied, thank you so much. Um, I, I can't say thank you enough, so thank you. And um, um, these lyrics are, you know, they're not great, but it's kind of been how I've been feeling. But on the flip side, I'm, I still, you know, like the page that I did yesterday. I am still full of hope and positive, and um, but I just really wanted to do a page with the song lyrics. So um, I'm, I'm doing okay. <laughs> so um, thank you, everybody, and I will speed up through the rest of this, and I hope you enjoy this video.